All right, so this is a quickie one that uh, using a different mic, etc. Uh, but it's not going to be on the full show. We are talking about Notre Dame and their possible media rights payout. They're looking for seventy-five million dollars in a media rights payment from NBC to remain with the network. Their next uh, negotiating table, whatever the, the next deal would start in twenty twenty-five, right? which is the exact same time that the Big 12's deal would be beginning. Um, that's, that's what they're all looking for right now. So NBC is uh, wanting to get this done with Notre Dame, and they are still in talks with the Big 10 to make that happen. But it's not guaranteed that they would be one of the partners with the Big 10. So now Notre Dame is looking to see if they can possibly partner up with the Big 12 as far as their TV contract is concerned. This is an article over at CBSSports.com. Dennis Dodd reported on this just a little while ago. Uh, It says, Power 5 shoulder programming around Notre Dame games will be key to making such a deal happen. Now, I'm going to read some of this. It said, Notre Dame would remain independent if it can earn at least $75 million annually in media rights revenue from current broadcast partner NBC. Sources told CBS Sports, The Fighting Irish's deal with the network is set to expire in 2025. For NBC to feel comfortable raising Notre Dame's evaluation to such a level, it is seeking shoulder programming from a Power 5 conference to enhance its college football coverage, which is exactly what I just said. They're looking to have a game that leads into a Notre Dame game or a game coming out of the Notre Dame game in which they can work. So NBC would no longer just be doing Notre Dame games. They would also have another partner as well, another conference. So, uh, the Big Ten, of course, we just talked about that, but the Big 12 appears to be maybe a possible partner in this. You would not have to pay the Big 12 as much, and there are still some name brands, Oklahoma State, Baylor, TCU, etc., and the new ones that are coming in, Cincinnati, BYU, uh, Houston, and UCF. All of these are name brands that everybody knows that people would be willing to watch, especially if it is a lead-in to a Notre Dame game or the game coming out of that. So there are different ways that you can go about this uh, in order to make it work. It says NBC's negotiations are expected to extend across the next two to three weeks. According to a source, the network has been the rights holder for Notre Dame home football games since 1991. Now here's the kicker. The current deal averages $15 million per year, but Notre Dame is earning $22 million annually due to the backloaded nature of the contract. It was a long, long contract. If you look at the math here, if you're going to pay Notre Dame $75 million, that is significantly more, $60 million more per year than you've been paying them, and now you're going to add another broadcast partner. So let's say that the Big 12 is the team. There will be 12 teams in the conference, and I would imagine that they would like to get $20 million per team per season, right? So Notre Dame plus those, if you're doing $20 million per team, and that's 12 teams, that would be $240 million per year in annual rights to the Big 12. Now, along with that, and maybe maybe the Big 12 splits it up to where ESPN gets basketball, et cetera, because I don't know that NBC has any desire to do all that. I don't. They got rid of NBC Sports, so they wouldn't be broadcasting the basketball games, et cetera, uh, unless they're planning on doing something that I just have not heard of. But uh, $240 million to the Big 12 and $75 million to Notre Dame, that's $315 million in rights per season. Now, but imagine that they will do the same thing that the Big 12, excuse me, that the Big 10 did which would be only like a six-year deal, right? We'll see how much this thing is worth after six years, et cetera. But if you do it for six years, $315 million per year, you're looking at $1.89 billion. So here's the question. Does NBC think that Notre Dame and the Big 12 is worth nearly $2 billion over six years? And if not, then we're looking at Notre Dame possibly joining the Big 10 very soon. Like this, this kind of speeds things up as far as confidence realignment, et cetera, goes, because that's a massive number. One point eight nine billion over six years would be about the number to have the Big Twelve and Notre Dame. Now, how quickly can this come together? It says uh, they're expected to extend across the next two to three weeks. 
Are we really going to get something like this done, some kind of formality to Notre Dame to the Big Ten within three weeks? I mean, I doubt it because you've still got multiple years. But who knows? Who knows? This is, uh, this is kind of kind of big-time stuff here. I'm a little surprised at this. So uh, go ahead, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, but let me know your thoughts. I would love to hear from you. Jump into the comments, and we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. I mean, this is, this is pretty crazy. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.